Hi right, guys, it's Dan the Bugman here, here to answer the question that you all came here for me to answer, and that is, does bleach, vinegar, and pesticides, do those kill bed bugs? There's a lot of rumors that bed bugs are invincible, bed bugs can't die from this, they, they can die from that, all these crazy things. I'm gonna quickly answer. The question is yes, yes, and yes to all three. The way I did this experiment, they have all died. In these containers, they are sealed off from the world, only having small traces of vinegar, small traces of pesticide, and small traces of bleach. All of the bed bugs that are in each of these containers died. And I'll show you, they're all dead. Okay, so just to prove it to you, here is the bleach container. And yes, it does still smell like bleach. Um, the bed bugs in there, they're all dead. Even the smaller ones, they're dead. Okay, and now the vinegar. These as well have gone on to a better place. And I can touch them if you want me to, just to prove it, but yeah, they are dead. That one in the middle, that's the one that drank my blood and it still has a little bit of blood in it. But as you can see, it is a dead bed bug, the best kind of bed bugs. And finally, the pesticides. I put a bunch in here just to be sure I got rid of them all, but there was a bunch of babies on there. Those adult bed bugs baby bed bugs. They're all dead. So thanks for watching, um, but there is a lot more to this video. So hold on, I'm gonna explain to you exactly how I did to set up this experiment and what you should get from it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video. I'm gonna continue showing you how I set up this experiment very quickly, and then I'm gonna explain to you what you should get from this experiment and why I'm doing this, okay? But I'm basically going to see what kills bed bugs the best. My insecticide, or vinegar, or bleach. As a pest control professional, I get questions all the time when I go to these people's houses that have bed bugs. Oh, I've been spraying bleach on them. Oh, I've been spraying vinegar on them. Oh, I got some stuff from over the counter. Does this work? Does this work? Does this work? And usually I just tell them, no, it doesn't work. Uh, let us do it and give us your money. But I'm gonna actually test it just to prove a point to myself and hopefully prove a point to anyone that's watching this. So thank you for watching, I'm glad you're here. Hopefully we find something out interesting today. If you haven't done so already, please smash the like button so um, other people see this cool video that I'm making. And yes, let's get started. I have my bed bugs and now it is time for their life to come to an end. These particular bed bugs have actually fed on my own blood. I did a video about it, I will link the video in the description, make it pop up. So yeah, I'm gonna take these bed bugs, the ones that are still alive, and I'm going to put them in these jars. I'm just gonna wipe a little bit of bleach, a little bit of vinegar, and a little bit of this pesticide into each of these containers, seal them up, and wait until they're all dead and see how long it takes. Easy enough, right? What I need to do is change the camera angle so you guys can see what I'm doing, and also get a Sharpie. The first step is to do whatever I'm doing inside these. So this doesn't have a lid, that's perfect. I got my insecticide. This one is called PT565 plus XLO. Um, it's not actually one of the chemicals we use for normal bed bug treatments, but it is going to do the job today. As you can see on the label here, it says kills grain moths, ants, bed bugs, bees, blah, blah, blah. So it kills bed bugs. So it says, I guess we'll test it. Uh, I think it will, but that's just my guess. So. I'm just going to spray a little bit. This is a mist, and I'm just gonna spray it into this container. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it off a little bit so it's not so concentrated, but all, all it needs is just a little bit. So over here, I'm gonna put the PT, because that was the, the PT Alpine spray. And then I'll go ahead and write on these bleach, BL, and then vinegar. I'll put VN. VN is an abbreviation for vinegar, right? Who knows? Okay, now I'm going to take some vinegar and wipe the inside of the vinegar with, uh, we have just our distilled white vinegar, 5% acidity. Yeah. We'll see how the bed bugs feel about it. So take it, I'm gonna just wipe it around the, the inside, around the bottom there. It smells like vinegar to me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get a little more. And we'll do the same thing with the bleach. So we got the bleach here, vinegar, pesticide, brand new bottle of beautiful bleach. I do kind of like the smell of bleach. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but I kind of like the smell. Yep, smells like bleach. Now the purpose of this video is not really 
just to drown these bed bugs in the whatever products we're using because that would almost certainly kill them. We just want to see if the actual product itself is killing the bed bugs without completely just drowning them in some acidic chemical. So I'm going to try to get a couple in each one. Okay guys, so I've got this container with vinegar full of maybe five or six bed bugs. Same with this bleach, five or six bed bugs. Um, and the pesticide spray has probably closer to 20 bed bugs. Um, most of them are babies on that piece of paper because I just want to get rid of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just set these aside. I'm going to check them every day. I will keep you guys updated each day as to what I find. And we're gonna see what kills them the best. Any questions, just let me know. All right guys, so to make it a long story short, I did this experiment because as a pest control professional out in the field, I get asked these questions all the time. And even from just normal chit chat with my friends and other people I know, they want to know, there are a lot of rumors about bed bugs. They want to know what kills bed bugs. There's a lot of do it yourself bed bug treatments out there involving bleach, involving vinegar, involving over the counter pesticides. This experiment showed that in fact, when bed bugs are isolated in a sealed container with nowhere else to go, except for inside the container, that if you put bleach, vinegar, or just your average pesticides, that these bed bugs will die, okay? So what does that mean? To me, it was pretty obvious. I think if you put even a human in a container sealed off with just a bunch of bleach just all around it, maybe we would survive um, more than a day because these bed bugs only survived about a day, but we would survive uh, not that long in my opinion. So yeah, this does answer the simple question, can bleach, can vinegar, can your average pesticides kill a bed bug? The answer is yes, they can. That is not me saying, be very clear, that is not me saying, go buy some bleach and vinegar, mix it up together and start spraying your house for bed bugs. That would be a very bad idea. One, it's gonna stain all your furniture, but two, just because something kills a bed bug, that doesn't mean it is a viable treatment option. When doing a bed bug treatment, there are two main things that you need to consider. You need to have the correct chemicals and you also need to have the correct knowledge, okay? So even if myself went into a bed bug infestation and all I had with me were bleach and vinegar, I would not be able to do a successful treatment, okay? Even myself, I know where bed bugs hide. I know all the places, I know all the normal things to look for. I know how to spray, I know how to apply the chemicals. Even if I go into a normal place with those tools, I'm not gonna be able to do a successful treatment, okay? And there's one word to take from this about the vinegar and bleach. They do not leave a residual. Once these chemicals like bleach and vinegar dry up, their fighting power drastically diminishes, right? Once something's dry like these, you're not gonna get anything from it, okay? It's just gonna be little particles laying around. But these insecticides, they are meant to leave a residual. So what that means is, whenever the liquid dries, it bonds to the surface, and these chemicals are still active, actively killing bugs. So the second part to think about is having the correct chemicals without the correct knowledge, okay? So even if I told you what chemicals to buy, being able to apply them correctly is going to be a very far shot for just the average Joe to do a bed bug treatment, okay? I have spent years learning about bed bugs and training about how to treat for bed bugs. And even myself, I consider bed bugs very difficult to control. So with that being said, I have answered the question I set out today to answer. Does bleach, vinegar, and just your average pesticide, do all those products kill bed bugs? Sure. You can drown a bed bug in some bleach and it will kill it. I don't think that's gonna run us out of business though because it's not a good way to treat a house for bed bugs. And when a bed bug infestation occurs, I made a video about the evolutionary biology of bed bugs. I'll link it above in the description. They are very unique pests. They should not be taken lightly. You should definitely call a professional to get the treatment done. Thank you guys for watching the video about does bleach kill bed bugs? The answer is yes, but the follow-up part is, should I use bleach to treat a house for bed bugs or should I use X chemical to treat a house for bed bugs? And the answer is a big fat no. Please don't do that. Bed bugs are no joke. Like I said, they're the hardest pest to treat in my opinion. If you have any questions about bed bugs, I will be happy to answer them. But please don't go around spraying your house with vinegar, bleach, boric acid you get over the counter, baking soda, 
I've seen all kinds of stuff. I've walked into people's houses and there's just boric acid, like mounds of it, just all around the perimeter of the baseboards of the house and like in the couches, in the cushions. It's just, it's just crazy. And it just makes our job harder as professionals. We're gonna have to come in there inevitably. You're gonna try it yourself a couple times and you're gonna realize, hey, this doesn't work. So please don't waste your time doing that. Find a company, a local company that cares about its customers Call them, they will probably give you a free inspection. You can get a couple of free inspections if you'd like to shop around and see what company gives you the best offer, but please don't try to do a bed bug treatment by yourself. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have any questions, please just let me know. Until next time, I will see you later.